So, dear Shambra, it's interesting. We're ahead of schedule. I thought it was going to take longer to get over the wounds,、uh, the the processing, the addiction to energy. I thought it was going to take a long time to get over that. But there was such a, a core group of Shambra from all around the world,、uh, ones who are here, ones watching in today, that said. We're going to be bold and courageous. We're going to take this next step. We're going to jump into it, and here we are. We're already talking about creation. That is a huge step. We did it、uh, through a number of things. We did it number one with, I would say, one part、uh, information. We did it with one part humor, entertainment, distraction. One part distraction, a hugely important. Never underestimate the value of distraction because humans get very mental. And then I'd say about five parts allowing. That probably made the biggest difference of of anything that we've done together. Just just that allowing. I love allowing, and it's gotten us to where we are now, where we can really talk about creation. And this is where it gets fun. All the rest of it's been a little hard, but this is where it gets really fun when we go into our own creations. That is the Atlantean dream: to be here, embodied, and creating. It's one thing just to say, "Okay, I made it to mastery. I'm embodied. I'm here," but without the creation portion of that. The conscious creation. I am creation. It's actually almost not worth staying, and many of you have wondered about that in the past. Why should I stay? The answer is creation. To be creating from within your creation. That's the reason for staying. So today's question is, and this is.、Um, Kind of a riddle, and a question at the same time. What is an attribute that has no place in embodied mastery? It might be an attribute. Well, it is for most of you an attribute you have now, but you're not going to want to be carrying it into embodied mastery. What is it? Being fearful at any point in time. Caring what people think. That's、Good. that's the big thing. I believe it. <laughs> I、uh, doubt, disgust. With what? Everything. <laughs> Anger. Adama says my teacher. But <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> you know. But Adama says my the best, peer. Not the right answer, but <laughs> what you're not going to bring with you into、uh, ascended mastery is boredom.、Mm. The human is gray. Mass consciousness is gray. And dreary, and it's really going to appear gray and dreary once you have finished the integration process. Because for you, life is going to be filled with so much, for lack of better words, color, depth, three、uh, D, but but a hundred D. You are not going to be bored as an embodied master. Period. You can't be. At times, you are going to feel so overwhelmed with just pure passion, even if nothing's happening, but pure passion, that you feel you're going to explode. But because of all of the work we've done up to now, it's not going to overwhelm the mind. It's going to trip you up a little bit, but it's not going to overwhelm the body or the mind. You're moving right now. From kind of grayness and lack of passion and some boredom, a lot of boredom. There's a lot of boredom out there with Shambra, and what I would call the dreary life. You're moving away from that because you're also moving away from mass consciousness.、Uh, as an embodied master, you're going to be really sensitive and aware of things, and sometimes it is going to bother you being in a dreary world. But then, what are you going to do? You're gonna stop and take a deep breath. I exist, and you're just gonna create. You're gonna be painting on top of a gray canvas, and the gray canvas is not yours. It's it's life. 
It's life. So what you're not going to be bringing with you, boredom, grayness, dreariness. Let's talk for a moment now about energy and life. You may have never considered this before, but there is a huge difference between energy and life. With this music that's going to play, it's just energy. You know, I, I have said now that energy is just a communication. A communication is all it is. Whether it's communicating as music, or it's communicating as light, or it's communicating as money, it's just communication, all of it. And nothing happens with that energy, which is just communication, until you're present, until there is consciousness. Nothing. That's life, when consciousness meets energy, when consciousness allows, when it is present, I am here. Suddenly the energy starts moving and we have life. Energy is everywhere and it's yours. It's waiting for you. When you are present, when you have said, I am going to be my life, in my life, of my life, creator of my life, when you are that committed and you have that much passion for being here, suddenly your energy comes to life. The energy now is in service to you, and it will facilitate your creation in the life that you dream and choose, period. Never again mistake energy for life. Life is when you choose to be in your creation.